good evening. Let's stand together as we sing Joy to the World. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. The promised king has come onto the scene. He has left his eternal throne and has made his home in our neighborhood. 
the eternal word through whom the world was created, arrived just at the right time to show the heart of the Father for the world. The song of the angels broke the deafening and oppressive silence of hopelessness in the world. Heralding the majestic Messiah, the prophesied Prince of Peace, comes to deliver us from sin and inaugurate his kingdom and reign over all the earth. He rules the world with truth and grace. From God's call to Abraham, we see that the heart of the maker of heaven and earth is for all people to return to him and profess him as the king of kings. And one day, those who have made that profession will, as John tells us in Revelation, participate in the great gathering proclaiming with all the nations. To be the one seated on the throne and to the Lamb be blessing and honor and glory and might forever and ever. Amen.
light takes the darkness away in all we are standing amazed you are the one your word calls the oceans to rise your glory is filling the skies you speak and the dead call to life Well, good evening and uh, welcome to Riverland Hills and this presentation tonight of the Promised King. We are thrilled that you are here. If I have not had the chance to meet you before, my name's Ryan and I'm the pastor here at Riverland Hills. And we're just glad you're here uh, to celebrate the Christmas season and this great time of worship that we're going to have together tonight. If we can help you in any way tonight uh, to make your visit here uh, more comfortable, there are people out in our atrium area at our welcome desk that would be glad to answer any questions for you and help you in any way. We are also delighted to be partnered with this uh, with First Baptist Church of Irmo, and we are so excited to be partnered with a neighboring church and are so grateful for that church and the ministry there and that we can do this together as the body of Christ uh, together, and what a joy to do that. Here at Riverland Hills, one of our ministries that we have is our benevolence ministry. It's a ministry where we pour back into this community with people who have uh, specific needs when they're at a place in life where 
Uh, they have a physical need that they need to have met. Uh, we are here to serve them. We have people that meet with them during the week that will talk through them, counsel with them, see what we can do to help them from a physical standpoint, but most importantly, share the gospel with them and let them know who Jesus is. And the way that we fund that ministry is during the Christmas season, it's a special offering that we take at all of our special events where we fund next year's ministry with the money that we get during this Christmas season. So if you feel led to help in that type of ministry, when you leave tonight, uh, there will be some of our ushers at the doors uh, with collection plates. We also have offering boxes that are out in the atrium area where you came in. If you feel led to be a part of that, you can give now. Also, you can give at some future events that we have coming up through the remainder of this month. But it is a powerful ministry, and we're thankful to be able to serve our community in that way. We are so glad once again that you are here. Welcome, and we're going to continue in worship.
Comfort, comfort my people. Speak comfort to Jerusalem. For the people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in a land of darkness, a light has dawned. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, and his kingdom shall have no end. Behold, a virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and you will call him Emmanuel. Son, he shall be great, the Son of God most high, and he shall reign, his kingdom shall have no end. simple girl from a simple world oh angel how can this be how can I have a child when I'm still a child please tell me how can this What will my parents say? And what about Joseph? Can I really expect him to stay? An angel spoke to me, said it's all right. Don't Sweet Mary carries God's own afraid. son, and you shall call you his name. Shall bear a son. Jesus. Don't be afraid.
And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be enrolled. And all went to be enrolled, each to his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth and into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, for he was of the house and lineage of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And so it was that while they were there, the time came for her to be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, for there was no room for them in the inn. And in that region, there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were filled with fear. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace goodwill toward all. shining it is the night of the dear Savior's birth long lay the world in sin and ever pining till he a 
appeared and the song felt its worth a thrill of hope the weary world rejoices for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn fall on your knees oh hear the angel voices oh night divine oh night when Christ was born, O oh, night, O oh, only night, O oh, night divine. Truly he taught us to love one another. His law is love and his gospel is peace. Chains shall he break for the slave is our brother and in his name all our prayers shall cease Sweet of joy In grateful chorus raise me Let all within us Praise his holy name Christ is the Lord Oh praise his name When the time came, Joseph and Mary took Jesus to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. For as it is written in the law of the Lord, every firstborn male is to be consecrated to the Lord. There was a man in Jerusalem called Simeon who was righteous and devout. He was waiting for the consolation of Israel and the Holy Spirit was on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not die before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Moved by the Spirit, he went into the temple courts. When he saw Mary and Joseph, they approached them, and they placed the child Jesus into his arms. So many years of waiting God's promise to be fulfilled, trusting and hoping and praying for Messiah to be revealed. 
But now my waiting has ended As I look in the face of this boy King of creation, our Savior His warming will lead to lasting joy I have seen salvation My soul can rest in peace Emmanuel, God with us His kingdom will not cease I have seen salvation My faith has turned to sight The glory of the nations and loves each There was also a prophetess named Anna, an elderly widow. She never left the temple but worshipped there night and day. Coming up to them at that very moment, she gave thanks to God for the child. Day after day at the temple, I've been fasting and praying so long. Now I am holding the now my sighing is turning to song As the prophets have promised We have been given a song The Word now made flesh our Redeemer A mighty God, the Holy One I have seen salvation. I have seen salvation. My soul can rest in peace. Emmanuel, God with us. His kingdom will not cease. I have seen salvation.
When Joseph and Mary had done everything required by the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. And the child grew and became strong. He was filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was on him. Jesus grew in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and man. One day, as Jesus walked beside the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the lake, for they were fishermen. Come, follow me, Jesus said, and I will make you fishers of men. At once they left their nets and followed him. When Jesus had gone a little further, he saw James and John. Without delay, he called them, and they left everything and followed Jesus. Look at him there, sun in his hair, soon he will wear a crown, born for this hour. Seize power, bring all our enemies down. Look at his eyes, gentle and wise, heaven is in his face, and in his touch, there is so much power and mercy and grace. See the kingdom coming, the one we have waited for. I see the kingdom coming on earth, soon we will call him Lord. I see the kingdom coming, he's what we have waited for. I see the kingdom coming in him, that's why I call him Lord. Lift up the gate, I cannot wait. Bring on his earthly reign. Sword in his hand. He will rule the land, freeing our people again. Look at me now. Different somehow, and all because of him. Much more at Learning his peace and finding the joy from within. I see the kingdom coming, the one we have waited for. I see the kingdom coming on earth, soon we will call him Lord. I see the kingdom coming, he's what we have waited for. I see the kingdom coming in him, that's why I call him Lord. Soon we will call him Lord. I believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. So do I, Peter. The miracles and his teachings. Yes, it's just as Jesus said, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. I see the kingdom coming, the one we have waited for. I see the kingdom coming on earth, soon we will call him Lord. I see the kingdom coming, he's what we have waited for. I see the kingdom coming in him, that's why I call him Lord. Soon we will call him Lord. I see the kingdom, I see the kingdom, I see the kingdom, I see the kingdom. I see the kingdom coming! And the kingdom was coming. In fact, it was here with us. Even though it wasn't the earthly king, kingdom we all wished it would be. We wanted a king who would overthrow the Romans and establish Israel as the kingdom that had been under David to rule the world and make us rulers as well. Jesus tried to tell us, but we weren't really listening. The kingdom of heaven is within you, he said. It was a kingdom of love built on the personification of love himself, Jesus. 
I have seen so many miracles the world cannot contain. The books that could be written of the lives that he has changed. I have heard him speak the words of life with complete authority. But of everything I've learned of Him, one thing means the most to me. I know He loves me with all my sin. And so I believe, trust, and follow Him. So many answers I still don't know but there's no question he loves me so I know he loves me one day as Jesus was teaching the Pharisees threw down before him a woman that they had arrested they said this woman was caught in the very act of adultery the law requires that she be stoned. So what do you say? Jesus knelt and began to draw in the dirt. He said to them, He who is without sin among you, let him cast the first stone. Baffled, the Pharisees walked away in silence. Jesus said to the woman, Where are your accusers? Has no one condemned you? No one, Lord. And nor do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. So many men have looked at me with hatred in their eyes, with fiery condemnation or their selfish lust and lies. But now I have seen a look of love I had always been denied When Jesus spoke with tenderness His forgiveness saved my life I know He loves me with all my sin So I bid and follow him so many answers I still don't know but there's no question he loves me so I know he loves me now my past it dies My life is just beginning For I have been reborn I know He loves me with all my sin So I believe, trust and follow Him I still don't know, but there's no question, He loves me so, I know He loves me.
In that song you just heard, one of the stanzas said, So many answers I still don't know, but there's no question He loves me so. What I love about that phrase is it really describes our faith journey. Maybe right now in your life you have questions. You have questions on why things are happening the way they're happening in your life. You have questions about who God is and what He's up to. You have questions about God's timing and how He's doing things in your life. And we have all these questions that rattle around in our mind, but here's what we do know. There is no question, He loves me so. How do we know that? Well, that's what Christmas is all about. You see, life is not about us working our way to God. And one of the traps we'll find ourselves in is we think that God would only love us if we could be good enough or clean enough or moral enough to work our way to Him. And maybe some of you are in that trap right now thinking, well, if I just cleaned up a little more, then maybe God would love me. But I want you to understand the message of Christmas is this. The message of Christmas is not us working our way to God. The message of Christmas is is that God came for us. Now I want you to understand that tonight, that what this is all about, what the music is about, what the singing is about, what the message is about, is that God loves us so much that He came to us. Actually, the Bible says in Romans chapter 5, verse 8, that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And that is how we know He loves us, that while we're still in the condition that we're in, He loves us, and He came for us. And that's really the distinctive about what we celebrate this time of year and what's so distinctive about the message and the music that you've heard this this evening is that world religions teach that you're supposed to work your way to God. You're supposed to do whatever you can to find a way to work your way to God. In other words, the foundation of world religions is works. But what is unique and standalone about the message of the gospel is that the core word of the gospel is not works. The core word of the gospel is grace. We can't work our way to God. But praise God, we don't have to. You see, even in our brokenness, even in our sinfulness, and the Bible says we've all sinned and fallen short of God's glory. We've all dropped the ball. We've all messed up. We've all sinned. And that's why God sent His Son to redeem us, to fix the relationship that's broken between us and God because of sin. And only God could fix it. And the way that He's done it is by sending His Son, Jesus Christ. So maybe tonight, for some of you, you have sensed that emptiness in your life. By the way, there's a verse in Ecclesiastes that says that God has set eternity in the hearts of mankind. If you've ever wondered why you wonder, is there more out there? If you've ever wondered why you wonder and you're asking the question, could there be an almighty God out there that loves me? The reason why in you, you long for that and the reason why you're asking that question is because Creator God placed in you this sense of eternity in this sense that there is more. But the only way you're going to discover that there is more is through what God's ordained through His Son, Jesus Christ. So maybe tonight some of you need to make that decision to trust Christ, to, to, to know Him. And you might say, well, wait a minute, that sounds foreign to me. How would I do that? Well, you'd simply do it by coming and saying, Lord, I, I admit that I'm a sinner. And I come before you and I confess that. The word confession simply means I agree. That's all it means. Lord, I agree with you. I dropped the ball. Lord, I agree with you. I've messed up. I agree with you that there's sin in my life. And so maybe tonight you need to come and say, Lord, would you forgive me of my sins? And Lord, I come and I place my faith in the grace of your Son, Jesus Christ. And I place my faith in the blood that He shed to forgive me of my sins. And I want to surrender my life to you. And maybe some of you need to do that tonight. It's just between you and God. That's just a simple prayer between you and God that you may need to pray tonight.
If you need to pray that prayer tonight or if you need help in your spiritual journey, maybe you're just wandering right now and just need some direction. I just want you to know we want to do whatever we can to walk with you and help you. Maybe even before you leave here tonight, you want to talk with one of us or just ask, hey, how can I find out more and, and find out more about the, the work of Jesus in my life? I want you to know that tonight at the end of our time this evening, out at the welcome desk, that I'll be there and some of our uh, ministers will be there and folks and volunteers that would just love to talk with you. Maybe this week the Spirit's going to be at work in your life and you just want to ask someone more questions, I just want you to know that we're here for you at Riverland Hills and just want to help you in your journey and just want to walk with you any way that we can. There's no greater joy than seeing lives transformed by Jesus Christ. We want to help you know Him, and we want to help you grow in Him. So tonight, if tonight's the night that you need to make that decision, I pray that you would do that, and we're going to be here for you. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for what this season means. Christmas is about the work of you through your son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for sending Emmanuel, God with us. I pray tonight for those that are sensing right now that they need to make that decision to trust you. I pray that they would just pray that simple prayer of, Lord, I admit that I'm a sinner. I come and acknowledge my sins. I ask you to be Lord of my life. I ask for your blood to forgive my sins, and I surrender my life to you. Lord, tonight, if there's anyone that's made that decision, I praise you that they have become a child of God. And Lord, I pray that they would boldly let other people know so that they can have support and help in their new journey of new life. Lord, as we continue in worship, we want you to be glorified. You are king, and you are worthy of praise. And we lift all this up to you in Jesus' name. Amen.
saw to the other side. Knowing this was our salvation, Jesus for our sake you died.
Well, thank you so much for coming. I hope you have a blessed Christmas season. Merry Christmas and hallelujah and amen. You guys are dismissed. <laughs>